Evening everyone, it's uh, Tuesday evening and this is your closing comment. It is video number 701 and if you appreciate the work, we'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Okay, so um, back to everybody's childhood. Tops, T-O-P-P-S, the baseball card company that gave us all of those cavities with their flat gum and baseball cards, uh, was reversed into M-U-D-S, a SPAC today. <clears throat> it was one of those SPACs that was trading under $10, but that clearly did not last long as soon as they made the announcement. Um, I mentioned it this morning, and when I mentioned it, uh, we were talking about... Um, Michael Eisner being uh, the CEO and wanting to take the company from uh, being an analog company to being a digital company. You know, this somewhat makes sense. Um, when you listen to people talk about it, they call it a confection company that, by the way, also has baseball cards and football cards and basketball cards. But with the big move in uh, NFTs, uh, all of a sudden, it becomes an entertainment company. In the meantime, the stock closed at eleven fifty four. That was up a dollar sixty four, or just over sixteen and a half percent. Illumina, I also mentioned this morning, and uh, they gave better guidance for the first quarter and the full year, and the stock was up about uh, fifteen or eighteen. <clears throat> Excuse me, but the public really liked what they heard, and the stock closed 414.84, and that was up 30, 30, uh, or 7.9 percent. Also, uh, Brooklyn Immunogenics—that's uh, the one I mentioned this morning. BTX. Uh, it was 845, up 378 on the new CFO, Mr. Fedorov. Uh, this is a cancer therapies company. <clears throat> it actually didn't get a lot further along than uh, what we saw this morning. Um, it did touch 853 during regular trading hours, and uh, even though it only closed up $1.32 at 599 that was still good enough for a 28% move. Uh, Viacom this morning, I mentioned, uh, in um, discussion discussions about uh, Credit Suisse and the fact that they were taking a uh, $4.7 billion charge, cutting their dividend, tossing two of their directors off the board, uh, and um, the stock was trading a little bit below 41 down a little over a dollar, but it came back pretty well today. Um, it looks like maybe they got that 34 million shares sold or at least spoken for uh, because the stock went from that $41 area up to 45.36. I know that doesn't seem like much. Uh, it is 10% but it doesn't seem like much when the stock was 101 just a couple of weeks ago. In any event, it finished the day at 44.38, up $1.42, or 3.31%. Uh, Boeing and uh, Intel were the big losers on the Dow. Okay, uh, here are a couple of other little minor stories. Um, Applied Material had an Investor's Day today, Virtual Investor's Day, um, and I guess they were not overwhelmed with what they heard. The stock actually closed down 351 or 2.5%, a little over 139. And FGEN, this is a company that has an anemia drug. It moved from 23 to 50 recently. Um, as recently as earlier this month, the stock had a high of 52 and a low of 33. Uh, yesterday, it had a high of 36 and today was 23. Um, Bank of America recommended this stock uh, six days ago with a uh, $47 price tag on it. 
and uh, the company looks like it's going to have to restate some results uh, because of the way that they were figured and it somewhat evidently overstates the uh, efficacy and the results from their trials. Okay, so the Dow was down about 96 or a third of a percent, NASDAQ down uh, $7. Um, S&P down 397. S&P and the Dow made new highs during the day, even though they couldn't hold them. Uh, advanced declines were one and a half to one on the NYSE, but were barely one to one on the NASDAQ, which, you know, doesn't really bother me on a day where uh, it pulls back just slightly. Volume, however, continued lower. So I guess if you're... Uh, if you're watching the volume, we're coming into next week, we start earnings season and clearly my least favorite time of the year. Uh, VIX was up slightly. Okay, the chart on the screen is the oil and uh, we are short this and I was concerned that we would get above the 6075 and in fact we did touch 6090 but then closed uh, up on the day, but on the lower end of the range at uh, 59.33. And tonight we're down another 16. If we can crack this uh, prior day's close, which was 58.65, I think that uh, the oil breaks lower. Uh, clearly, the uh, big number here is this closing low at 57.76, which is, you know, still a dollar and a half away, but uh, stranger things have happened. Uh, the gold today acted much better. This morning I was talking to you about it, uh, about the 1741 area. Let's pull that chart up. And in point of fact, we did puncture it to the upside. We got up as high as uh, 1746. This is the number that I'm working with. Uh, let's see. This is the high close for this entire little W bottom. And while we do need to break above this uh, 1758 area, uh, today's close at 1743 was a better close than this high close of 1741.70. I know it doesn't seem like much, uh, but it is a nice, looks like it may be a nice double bottom here. The uh, uh, five day went through the 20 day to the upside. I remind you that's the Dick Donchin change of trend. And uh, as if we uh, don't have enough to look at. Let's go with the silver, which is slightly lower tonight. But as I've pointed out recently, it has more of an upward bias. It never came back down and tested that low. Uh, we seem to be working higher. The uh, five day has curved up uh, and uh, we've been riding along this 200 day MA. Uh, but this is not nearly as bearish a chart as uh, the gold is. All right, everyone, have a good evening. Oh, by the way, the dollar was lower today, and uh, one of the other markets that I've been talking about on a regular basis is the lumber uh, and uh, the coffee. The coffee hit 121 and change today and then rallied to 127. I know that uh, Dennis Marlowe, our commodity trader, had been watching this one and got long and made four or five dollars on it. So that's great work for Dennis. And here is my uh, lumber, which we're tra playing now through uh, common stock uh, RYN Rayoneer, which is a, uh, it's not an ETF. It is an REIT form corporation. And as you can see, we made another new all-time high today and closed up there, uh, 1,044 1044.30, up 23.30. All right, everyone, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions about the futures, please ask. I'm happy to provide the information.